week. TV. André Agassi is in het land. De voormalig toptennisser is hier om zijn autobiografie Open te promoten. In het boek spreekt de Las Vegas Kid openlijk over zijn drugsverleden, zijn pruik en hoeveel hij tennis wel niet heeft gehaat. In de volgende Sportweek lees je een uitgebreid interview met Agassi, maar op Sportweek TV zie je alvast wat beelden van het gesprek dat we hadden met de Amerikaan. Te beginnen met zijn impact op het tenniscircuit. Mijn hoop is dat ik het game beter dan toen ik in you know. Mm-hmm. When I when I came into the tour and I was wearing all these clothes and people wondered, um, is this good for the game or not? A lot of people said it's not good. No. Yeah. But the truth is, I think history proves that it 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 expanded the the tent of, mm-hmm. of tennis. More people could come in. Yeah. More people wanted to watch it. More people. So it was it was a good thing, you know. And yeah. and one of the things I hope now in my second life is that this book. Some people have said, I can't believe he's he's doing it and, yeah. and he shouldn't do this and without reading it they're saying this, but but I believe that this will be um, significant in the future as we look back mm-hmm. to, to the to to the to people. Mm-hmm. So because it what this book is saying is just because you're rich, just because you won titles doesn't mean that you yep. don't have problems. Mm-hmm. You know, problems don't discriminate, mm-hmm. and, and and we have a tendency to heroicize people, mm-hmm. and we have a tendency to villainize people. Mm-hmm. If you make a mistake, you're this person. We label people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do it with each other. Mm-hmm. And my hope is that through this book, I start to expose the fact that we need to spend more time yeah. looking at ourselves and mm-hmm. being honest about that. Met zijn vader Mike heeft Agassi altijd een moeilijke relatie gehad, omdat hij door hem werd gedwongen om te tennissen. De jonge André deed het tegen zijn zin, alleen om zijn vader tevreden te stellen. Hoe gaat het nu tussen de twee? You know, I grew to understand him better. Yeah. I'm not sure he understands me better, but I grew to understand him better. Yeah. Did he read the book? No. No? He says he doesn't want to read it. Hmm. He says, and he told me this two years ago, I'm not going to read it. Why? He says he doesn't read, first of all. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he says, uh, what the hell do I need to read it for? I was there. I, yeah. s- I know, I saw everything, you know. Tot slot de fysieke gesteldheid van Agassi. In 2006 nam hij na de verloren derde ronde op de US Open afscheid met aanhoudende rugklachten. Hoe voelt de 39-jarige Amerikaan zich nu? Well, life on my terms, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's... But if I go play, the next day I feel it yeah. pretty good. Do you still have to sleep on the on the floor sometimes? Um, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Most of the time I go from the bed to the floor. Yeah. You know, it's just it just it feels better for my for me. So it's, it ruins your body also. Is, yeah, yeah, I played tennis a long time. Yeah. It came with a price. Yeah. And it's only right that I should feel it the rest of my life. It's been a big part of my life. Yeah. It feels yeah. fair. Sportweek TV.